I'm 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 all the specials, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I I ain't mad, and I'm and I'm on a special iPad this morning, and it looks terrible on my end. So I pray that it, I pray. Hallelujah. Y'all let me know if y'all see me good on Facebook. Cause hello, hello Facebook. Um, I'm trying to see, can y'all see me good? Uh, uh, Boca Tov, uh, Nicole, good to see you. Um, Henderson, good to see you. Don Deems in the building. I see you, Donna. Um, I'll call Rita B. How, how, do, how does it, do, can y'all see me okay? Because it looks super whooped on my end. Let me see, can y'all see me? Hazy. Um, a yeah, like a <laughs> this is so not cool, boy. I tell you, man. If it and th this is this is not a bad iPad either, but it's been acting bad lately. So I've been using the other one. I got like three of them, and the one. Can you turn it around? No, that ain't gonna help because it's already turned around. Like you push the button to turn the, the lens around. This is just so whooped, huh? No, like put it on the other side of the room or something because you look like a Lua, you like a spirit. It's it's not it's not the um the positioning. It's not even the okay. the lighting. Like you can see the sun coming in through the window and I got a I got two lamps, one coming down on me and one to my right. And um it's just an ugly uh I just, I just don't want y'all to think I'm a Ruah and get, and get uh, scared. Let's go to, um, then let's just get in the word. Preferably the word make up for the, for the look, right? So let's, let's go to, um, let me see. Let's go to, uh, John and see, see what y'all say. What well, is it John? Yeah, I think I am tripping. Don't do me like this, man. I'm going to see what John say. If I'm wrong. Do he want me to teach whatever I run into? Let me see. Let me see. Um, I don't see nothing here. That jump out at me. Let's go to um. Let's go to um Matthew seven. Then. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so tired, man. Let's go to Matthew 7, y'all. Let me see what it say. Why not? Let's do Matthew 7. <clears throat> Good morning, uh, Big Sean and Steel Will. I just was praying for you, Big Sean. And the most high continue to heal you. I know I look like a ghost, y'all, so they have to tell me. I hate this, man. I don't even want to get to tripping off small stuff. But uh, let's get it in. Conference started. Conference recording started. Who's ever on the phone? Mute your phone, please. On my phone. On my personal phone. Mute your phone, please. Let's get in the word, y'all. Good morning. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early when I see these scripts study and prayer line on his fifth day in uh, November 2018. Um, let's get in the word, y'all. Matthew 7 and uh, 1. Good morning, Trenda. How you doing, sis? Taylor in the building. Good morning. Good morning. Look what it say. It says, um, judge not that you be not judged, for with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged, and what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. Um...
if I don't judge, I'm not going to be judged. How many of y'all think that? Because it said that, right? Mr. Washington, bless you. Again, just for the record, I know this is a bad connection visually. But as long as it's audibly correct, we can get something in, right? But look at this. It says, judge not that you be not judged, right? And I hear that all the time. So I'm going to ask a question. If I don't judge, I'm not going to be judged. Can I be an adulterer? I'm committing adultery. And you commit adultery, so I'm not going to judge you because I'm doing it. Does that mean the most high not going to judge me? Does that mean that? That's what people say, <laughs> don't they? If, if, if Judge not you be not judged. That's what people say. I get you. I'm not mad at you either. So if I don't judge you for what you're doing, then I get to do what I'm doing and we both good. Right? Ain't that what you say? Did you ever think about what you say or what you think or what you believe? Is that what it's really saying? Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, it shall be, you shall be judged. And with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. Is that what... Or is it saying, how dare you? Is it more of a, how dare you judge somebody concerning something you're doing? Is that really what it's saying? As opposed to, if I stay out of your business, y'all gonna stay out of mine. I know you scaleless as heck, but so am I. So I shouldn't say nothing. Well, truthfully, if you scaleless as heck, it's difficult to correct somebody else. You got a lot of nerve. You have a whole lot of gall. If I'm judging you about something you doing, and I'm doing it too. That's, you got a lot of something, something special about you. Real talk. Judge not that you be not judged. Well, with what judgment you judge? Okay. For what's what judgment you judge? That means the revelation that you have concerning a matter, you know it's wrong. Even, probably even the person you're telling they're doing wrong might not even know it's wrong. But you're proving you know it's wrong because you opened your mouth. So the Most High has given you revelation that what is being done goes against him and is wrong because you're correcting somebody concerning doing it. You're telling them you should not be doing that. So that means you know that it's wrong to do. Judge not that you be not judged. For well, what, what judgment? The very revelation of the revelation of that sin is in you. You have revealed your revelation of knowing that this is wrong with what judgment you judge. You shouldn't treat your spouse like that. With what judgment you judge. That's not how you treat children. With what judgment you judge. You should support ministry, baby. Well, what judgment you judge? Don't talk to them like that. With judgment you judge, you should be praying. Whatever your judgment is, the revelation is clear that you know it. Let's say again. Let me see. But what judgment you judge? You right, Donna. With what judgment you judge, you gonna be judged. If he has given you revelation. Out of your mouth, he said we'll be judged by every outer word that come out of our mouth. Out of your mouth, you condemned yourself. Had you shut your mouth and you wrong, you was going to be condemned anyway. But further revelation, for him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. See, you can, you can be doing something wrong, but your conscience is clear because to you it ain't wrong. Case in point. Adam and Eve was walking around in the garden naked. They was cool until the devil let them know that they was naked. That's why when, when the Most High asked him, where art, where art thou? And he said, oh, you know, I ran and hid because I was naked. He was like, who told you you was naked? It was the devil that told him. 
who you've been talking to. So someone could be running around here naked. See, the devil probably was naked too. <laughs> and he let them know that they was naked. See, he knew they didn't. With what judgment you judge, you could be giving someone a revelation. You shouldn't be like that. Some people wasn't raised with that righteous level, a.k.a. a moral level, a moral standard. Yours might supersede this, so you know better. And if you know better, you should do better. So you exposing your level of revelation that you have with the Most High. He has illuminated you in certain areas, and you know right from wrong. You're a good advice giver. Can you, can you accept your own advice? Oh, I'm going to tell you what the scripture really means, y'all. I hear, you know, you people be running their mouth. Judge not that you be not judged. If you don't judge nobody, you still going to be judged by every deed done in your mortal body. If you sinning and think you, just because you sinning and they sinning, and if you don't judge them on what they doing, the most high going to judge you on what you doing, you're, you're completely wrong. You're deceived. And that's what the average Joe run around here talking about. I don't judge because I don't want to be judged. You go get judged. I seen other people rob banks and I mind my own business. So why you, why, why y'all harassing me? Cause I'm robbing this bank. Calm down. I don't, I don't judge nobody. Don't judge me. You going to jail. And if they shoot you, you're going to hell. Judge not that you be not judged. Well, I ain't going to, no, but now, uh, I ain't going to go there. I'm not going to go there. Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you just say, very same one, very same standard that you had, uh, you had enough God to open your, no, 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 look, look. Open your mouth. Please believe me. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Open your mouth because you're the light of the world and you're supposed to open your mouth. You're supposed to stand up for the most high. You're supposed to stand up for truth no matter what. So please open your mouth. But the problem is, for what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. What measure you meet, it shall be measured you again. Because the third verse is the revelation of the problem. Why beholdest the mote that's in thy brother's eye, but consider not the beam that's in your own eye? That's the problem. The problem isn't... Calling a spade a spade, calling right right and wrong wrong. That is not the problem. Good morning, Woods. The problem is you live in scandalous and you run around here correcting people. That's the problem. Why beholdest thou the mote that's in that brother's eye? You see all the fault with them, but what about your faults? You 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 are not cool at all. But you quick to show somebody else how uncool they are. You, you can't. You, you can do that, but you you gonna pay for it. It's not gonna work out for you. Why? This is a, a legitimate question. Why beholdest thou the moat that's in their brother's eye? You see their problem, right? But consider not the beam that's in your own eye. But you ain't correcting yourself. There's nothing wrong with us being in the wash machine process of being transformed into a new creation, right? We're all changing together. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, like say, say if, 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 if we're growing together and I make a mistake, say I'm wrong before the most high, I make a mistake, right? That don't disqualify me from telling you when you're wrong. We're growing together. It is the hypocrisy about it. Is I sit in the chair of correcting people, but can't nobody correct me. I sit in the chair of telling everyone else, but I don't see my own fault. It's like it's like a one-sided thing. The word is like a two-edged sword. It, it cuts going and coming. Bottom line, what's good, what's good for, 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 for you is good for me, and what's good for me is good for you. What I say on the one, I say on the all. Am I my brother's keeper? The answer is yes. We, iron sharpens iron. We, we, we sharpen each other. We're helping each other along the way. Having no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. If it's, if, it, if, it's, if it's an unfruitful work of darkness, I'm not going to fellowship with it. I'm not going to agree with it. I'm not going to partake in it. I'm not going to smoke it with you. I'm not going to do that with you. I'm not going to get drunk with you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to end into a, a covenant with you with the unfruitful works of darkness. I'm going to correct it. And, and, and if, and if you need to correct me, correct me too. 
But the problem here is the third verse. Why beholdest thou the mote that's in thy brother's eye, but don't consider the beam that's in your own eye? I don't want to talk about me. I'm here to help you. Got that type of attitude. Now, the, the person, like, like the words say, you know, give not that which is holy on the dogs, neither cast thy pearls before swine. And that is a state of mind. You try to help somebody and correct them, and when they have the spirit of a dog, they're going to hate you, and they're going to bring up what they think you did in the wrong spirit. And now it's tick for tat. So you you have to let some stuff go. But when you deal with, when when it's genuine, you guys love each other and you're trying to help one another grow, I can correct you and you can correct me and we can grow together. Oh, it's the truth anyhow. It's hard it's hard to sit up under a pastor that'll screw you. That'll lay on top of you. What the heck you listening to him for? <laughs> what the heck? What the, there ain't no ain't no reason to listen to him. Joker, you got the same problem I got. You 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 getting high with me. You 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 know where I can get some hair on cheaper. I don't need to be messing with you. Why beholdest thou the mote that's in thy brother's eye? But consider not the beam that's in thy own eye. There's qualifications of a pastor, there's qualifications of a bishop. And they have to live up to it. Bottom line. If you're if you don't have that level of call on your life yet. If you, have, if you don't have that level of call on your life yet, then grow into it. But when you're walking in that office, there's a certain standard you got to meet. It's just the truth. It's a certain standard you got to meet. And so you got folks that make excuses for their pastor and all that. You crazy. You know what you follow in that joker for? It ain't like a pastor can't fall to make a mistake, but that joker got to get that right. That joker got to come clean, apologize to the congregation or whatever he got to do, and that joker got to get that right. You, you can't have no joker up in there talking about, I'm human just like y'all. What that be doing is sit your butt down then. Come, come up out of that podium and sit your little scaleless butt down and let's find us a pastor. <laughs> Why don't you put an ad on Craigslist, Bishop? So we all can get a pastor, and you can get your little freaky butt down out of there until you get your little horny self together, until you stay out of the daycare with the little boys, get your little tight T-shirt wearing butt down, and come up out of there. Talk about uh, 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 my pastor here, man, just like us. No, you silly. <laughs> And the blind lead the blind, they both fall in the ditch. I'm standing with my pastor. Who going to stand up for the little boys? Who still, what, CPS got to do it? Is there anyone in the ministry? Dare any of you have a matter against another, go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints. <laughs> you got to go to the law before the unjust because the saints is scandalous. <laughs> I'm standing with my pastor. What about the little girl? What about all the married women? Why is all the kids on the front row look just like the dude? Okay, y'all, I'm slack up off of it. I'm just saying. Look, judge not that you be not judged. If you don't judge, folks, if you don't reprove the unfruitful works of darkness, you silly in your theology if you believe the Most High ain't going to judge you. You going to get judged. We got to learn how to rightly divide the word of truth. It's the truth, y'all. I'm almost laughing, but it's still the truth, right? Judge not that you be not judged. It's going somewhere. Just don't stop right there and run so you think you can keep people out your scandalous business. You got the doctrine of mind your own business, so you want to use that out of context. Judge not that you be not judged. So again, breaking news, news flash. If you don't judge me for being an adulterer, y'all going to judge you if you want. Understand that. So don't believe you're going to get a pass because you know how to keep a secret. <laughs> Because you know how to mind your own business. I saw it, but I didn't see nothing. See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. You still got a problem, partner. If you if you living like the devil, you're going to get judged like one. Period.com. Judge not to be not judged. For with what judgment? You give a revelation that you know better than do better. Because with what judgment you judge, you going to be judged. And with what measure you meet, it shall be me measured to you. You got a standard that you think people should meet? Son, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> for, for, for what, you, you got a standard for what measure you meet? 
it shall be measured to you again. You got a standard that people should meet? You think people should be suffering? You think people should be faithful? Do you believe people should give? Then you ain't gave. You think people should, should be on time? Then you be on time. You got a measure? You got a pet peeve? You got something you believe people should be doing? Well, what measure you meet, you meet, you, you could be on to something. You could be right. Well, what measure you meet is going to be measured to you since you knew what you do it. You be the first fruit of the revelation. I'm not blaming it on the revelation. The revelation could have came from the most high. And it could be right. And it's good. Keep, keep, keep raising the bar. But if you raise the bar for other people and not yourself, that's the problem. Because it said, why beholdest thou the moat that's in your brother's eye? Why are you tripping off what they're doing? And consider not the beam that's in your own eye. If I know it's good for you, then doggone it is good for me too. Can we get this this morning? Can we start the week off right? Can we can we tell if we telling people how to treat their spouse, you gotta look at how you treat your. If a woman is telling a woman how to treat a man, how you treat your. If a man is telling a brother how to treat his wife, how you treat your wife? Come on, it's the truth anyhow. Folks, folks got this most scandalous kids. Running around here, don't do nothing they say. Just just little, little Tasmanians. And going to tell folks, somebody else, oh, you need to have your kids stop. What, what, what about your little Tasmanian rip, rip it, don't know how to sit down, running all over folks' furniture. Don't, don't do nothing you say, make you look like an idiot, and you're going to open up your mouth about uh, other children? Well, that means we all need to calm the heck down, and all of us need to be raising our children the right way. And we should be able to compliment and, uh, or, 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 or correct one another and give one another some pointers on how to do it. But don't start criticizing and, and, and putting down other folks when, 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 when your situation is uh, um, scandalous. I don't like that song, uh, Sweep Around Your Own Front Door. So don't be quoting that crap to me. Uh, sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine if it's in the wrong spirit. That spirit of mind your own business. No, I'm not minding my own business. Straight up. I, I, I'm told to cry, cry loud and spare not. I'm not going to overlook your sins. The blood going to be on my hands. I'm not overlooking nothing. If you're sitting around me, I'm just being patient with you. Because I love you and I love your soul. But I'm not, gonna, I'm not, I'm not getting involved in that. And it ain't tr sweep around your own. I never did really like that song. Because of the spirit of the church. The spirit is one scandalous place. With a bunch of scandalous people hollering, sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. Because everybody's scandalous. And then they got the state of mind, we all sinners. So you just mind your own business. All, and somebody got to be qualified to, to, to preach the word and to tell the truth. And someone got to be cooperative enough with the spirit of the most high to be corrected. And not try to find fault in somebody else's life because they corrected you. And if there is genuine love for the person, if you see them do something wrong, you're going to correct them too. Because we all should be correcting and encouraging one another to be like the Most High when he returned to come get us. Because he didn't have this hope that he coming to get us, purifies himself even as he is pure. I'm not going to get mad at you because you gave me some pointers in my uh, uh, relationship or in my attitude or in my conduct because I'm here to be purified. I need the word, and I want you to tell me the word. I want you to tell me when I'm wrong. And I'm not going to start trying to find fault on you unless I'm wicked, unless I don't want to be corrected. That's why I say don't, don't correct a fool. You can't correct somebody that don't want to be corrected. Folks ain't in, 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 in church to be corrected. Folks ain't in church to be encouraged. Folk, folks want a social club. Folks want to hear that good old choir. Folk, folk, folks want to see that old girl with that little tight skirt on. Woo, with them little midgets following her and her underclothes. They just, oh my goodness, every Sunday I get to see her again. Folks, folks got ulterior motives why they come together. But it's very rare that you find somebody that want to be saved, that will tell you the truth out of love because they want to see you make it and they'll, and they'll accept you telling them the truth because they want to make it. We all in this thing together. Look what it say. It say, thou hypocrite. No, back to four. Oh, how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in your own eye. You, in other words, get yourself together. Get, be the type of person that's getting your own life together. 
That don't mean I'm not going to uh, encourage you, tell you the truth about yours. I can even use myself as a testimony. I used to do that. I used to feel that way, but y'all brought me out. Or I'm struggling with that. Now, two fornicators, I don't want y'all struggling together because y'all going to end up struggling together. Uh, 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 don't you shouldn't be fornicating, sleeping with people. Cause shoot, because I do that all the time with your fine self. I need you to pray for me. You pray for me. Come here. Give me a hug. Y'all stay away from each other. Or, or, or how would thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye? You end up in the bed with him. You can't tell them how to stop, and you ain't stopped. And behold, a beam is in thy own eye. Look what the fifth verse say. Thou hypocrite. First, come on. I should be wanting to be saved. I should want to live the life myself. I should be sincere when I'm trying to help you. Come on, y'all. I can't tell you, you shouldn't be smoking. I just threw away my pack yesterday, and you got a fresh pack right now. See, the most high don't want us doing that. But since you got a fresh pack, let me give me one, because I don't want to go to the store and buy none. No, you the wrong person for the job. It, say, it says, if you see a man overtaken in the fault, Ye which are spiritual restore such a one. If you ain't ready for it, stay away from him. If you ain't ready for it, back up. But don't you dare believe if you mind your own business, you're going to get away because it ain't true. Get that dumb doctrine out your head, Fred, because it ain't true. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam. Get your life together. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then thou shalt see clearly to cast the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is uh, holy on the dog. See, you just can't you can't correct everybody because everybody ain't in it to be saved. Folks want you to mind your own dog on business so they can sin in peace. Can I just enjoy my sin and you mind your own business? That's people attitude all day. Find you some business, okay? Then that's what I will. Give not that which is holy on the dogs. You're not here to change. If I, if I tell you, if I tell you uh, that's wrong, you trying to think in your head hard as you can of something you saw me do. Some folks is good at it. They ain't even got to think. They already know. They meditating on uh, everybody else wrong. It's scandalous. I mean, and I say scandalous. As scandalous as they is, they got enough gall to be meditating. Did you hear me say meditate? You should be meditating in the word both day and night. They meditating in the faults of others as, as, as lawless as they are. They might, look, just because someone is rocking your pet peeve don't, make, don't mean you're not a warlock. Don't mean you're not a witch. They rocking in your, your, your pet peeve. You forget the fact that you you're a witch. You're a warlock. You forget that. And you start tripping off little menial, small stuff, your pet peeves, and coming against people. But if you save for real, you want to deal with your doggone broom that you flying around on. <coughs> your little leprechaun suit that you running around, little fella. You, you want to deal with that. Most, mo foremost. That, that's the most important thing to you is get your life together. And in the spirit of love, I'll say whatever I can to help you. Good morning, Cheryl. Good to see you, young lady. Dwayne, bless you. Come on, y'all. We got to get this stuff together. And again, I'm going to say it. Look, this, this, vision, this visual is tore up, but the audio is cool. In fact, this is a message worth listening to from the beginning to the end. So y'all just now chiming in. Please play it back. Just put some uh, 3D glasses on. Y'all might be able to see me because I'm not a ghost. <laughs> judge not that you be not judged, right? For with what judgment you judge, right? Again, I'm going to close it out just recanting the scripture. And hopefully y'all go back to the beginning and listen to the message. But listen to what it say. It says, judge not that you be not judged. Don't you but dare fool yourself and believe if you don't judge people, you're not going to be judged. That's not what it's saying. It said it, but that's not what it said. <laughs> judge not that you be not judged is saying that that you have you you're judging someone. You you're judging someone. The, the second verse will help, right? For with what judgment you judge, you're judging somebody on a matter since you know that it's wrong to do, then you shouldn't be doing it. 
That's what it's saying. Judge that you be not judged. Don't believe if I see you committing adultery and I mind my own business and don't say nothing, then I can go commit adultery and then the most high ain't going to say nothing to me committing adultery. You understand? That's crazy if you believe that. You see somebody kill somebody and you ain't going to tell the police or nobody. You're going to mind your own business. So you go kill somebody and, and then you're going to expect the most high or not to judge you on you kill somebody. Y'all both going to be judged as a murderer. Please believe that. So what it's saying is with what judgment you judge, with what revelation the most high give you on, on the unfruitful works of darkness, you should be doing, you should be walking in the light. You should be doing better. So then it went on to say, why are you tripping off what they doing and you doing the same thing? Is y'all getting this? Well, let's close with one. No, I don't have time. Do I? I don't have time. But look, why are you tripping off what they doing and you're doing the same thing like Romans, the second chapter say, y'all get a chance to go read it. Why are you tripping off what they doing and you're doing exactly the same thing? And then you want to offer some help. Why are you offering help and you ain't offering yourself some help? Then the fifth verse say, you a hypocrite. First, get you some help before you start getting physically involved in helping somebody else. First, get, like, make sure you qualify. I don't want to try to help you kick cigarettes and I'm smoking. I tell you, you need to stop quitting. You need to stop smoking. Give me that pack. You need to obey him then I take him and go smoke it. Thou hypocrite. Is that cool? I mean, this is a sermonette, so I got to go. But is that cool? Hopefully by the night, y'all be able to see me because I'm going to switch uh, iPads. But is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. How many of you know how? Praying that your word will forth with clarity, falling down the souls of your children, springing up an everlasting life. We completely believe you and we, we accept this washing machine process that you're sending us through that we'll become more and more like you. We definitely will uh, judge one another. Most importantly, we're going to get our act together first. We trust, believe, and thank you. And we pray this in the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. All right, y'all, that was, that was the lesson for the day. We pray that the word found you and blessed you and that it sounded better than it looked. And y'all can't tell if I wash my face or not, so that's the blessed part about it. Continue uh, uh, to be encouraged by the word. And if the word encouraged you, push the share button so it can bless somebody else, y'all. Share your platforms with the most high. If this mess if this if this ministry is a blessing to you and you want to be a blessing to it, you don't have to. I don't preach for money. But if the Most High is leading you to sow into the ministry, feel free to do so. All you got to do is go to PayPal, put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N-5857 at Yahoo.com. And if y'all want to hang out with us and talk about the commentary on the word, all you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815-648, and, and hang out with us. I absolutely love each and every one. What's up, Jeff? Man, I love you, dude. Good to see you on with me, man. You've been rocking with me lately, see? We're going to have to get together, man. We're going to have to get together and hang out. I know I'm going to be hanging out on my birthday on the 11th at my house, man. If you want to come hang out with me, you're perfectly welcome. If your schedule don't permit, let's just get together and uh, and, and have uh, lunch or something, man. Just look at each other, bro. Um, yeah. But y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom because I got to go.